Hello everyone, I'm here with another Bionicle Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this time it is on the Manas from 2001. And what a little interesting thing with this set is that what makes it the largest set of the time is that it's the first and only to be remote controlled, which I'll show later in the video. So let's take a look at the sets themselves. With this one that is on most of the covers, as, it is, as you can see. see, it's mainly black with some accents of yellow to it, which are these claws, are supposed to be crap claws to them, and instead of legs, use the treads from like the Tarakava do. And this upper area kind of reminiscent of the Viserax in the uh, Web of Shadows movie, but except once you hit that it makes them run loosely, so another hit it function. You see a pair of golly hooks for uh, penipalps or something. And as you can see, and also the uh, Taraga Winuas or Oniwas masks, but in yellow. Kind of cool. Nice for mocking. And also to note that they don't take long to make. Like most of it is this like center motherboard piece here, which holds the functions and also batteries for it. And of course, these take up a quite a whole ton of batteries. Like this is three double A's, this is three double A's, and there's another controller and another guy, which makes about twelve double A's to run it. But it's often worth it for the functions. And on the back part of which is the gearing mechanisms to make the thing go and thing for the controller itself and also obviously as eyes for the stud studs for the eyes of course see which are red and yellow or trans red and opaque yellow on this one and on to the other one of which being this one which is has white compared to black and orange compared to yellow. See, same stuff to it, but with Taraga Wenua's masks, but in orange. Also cool for mocking. And instead of yellow, it's white studs for the eyes. And same mechanism as the other. But as for the paneling, but this one go horizontal and the other one go vertical to help differentiate them like the other, same with the other Rahis. And if you wonder how large and wide these are, is like take a Nui Jaka, for example. See, quite a good bit wider than that. And also to compare it to original Takumata, as you see, he's about the length, about his height is about as wide as that, and also, and he, of course, a good bit taller than that. At least until it becomes a tiny. Combined scalar form the kind as and all as the story goes. And so now uh, for the main feature of them, which I'll demonstrate with this one. So it's with the controller for right here. Where you can like let's see the settings, which you can you take this like hook, which is a go or a scally hook acting as a key to like turn it to each channel. So, as you see, it's 1, 2, 3, and 4, which says all, to control all of them. But whereas on the mask grab itself, also three channels to it, and also another one of it, but as the on button. So, I press that, and I think it's on one, nothing on to it. So, it needs to be on the same channel. So, take that, put it on to it. Turn it to that, and there you go. Oh, whoops. This one, a uh, minor which is kind of glitchy, is my guy use off brick link. But there we go. Right. Sometimes older stuff can get a little haywire sometimes. I'm sure you can get that with like other RC sets or game consoles and such.
So whereas. So what to do with it is press it to like not get on. It's uh, kind of hard to do with this one. But if you make sure that if this is on the same channel as the other one, also two. Then they both work. Well, as long as both on the same channel. Oh, you hang on a sec. So, anyways, if they get to be on the same channel, they do the same stuff, which is how they work for. A combination model of Monaco. So my final verdict on these, of which. Oh wait, hang on. Let me do that. Something. There. So, anyways, final verdict on this set, of which a pretty cool set for the time of 2001. Like the first and only to be remote control, and this kind of puzzles me and many. Like, why didn't they have? Why they never did any more or sets that were remote controlled in later years? Would have been perfect for uh, Taku and Puku in 2003, but probably just wanted to save it for like uh, mind storms and things. And if you so, it would also do have plenty of nice mockable pieces, but. Even though the RC pieces can kind of work for locking if you like adding feet functions to it, like power functions and whatnot. Or, and of course, same with 9 volt train stuff and whatnot, and yeah. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And if you haven't yet, well, good luck finding it. Like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.